Hi there, and welcome to today's video. And today's video is of a much more light-hearted nature than the types of videos that I'm normally giving you, which are giving you terrorist things to look at within your running programs and such like, and advice along all those types of lines. So, what I'm looking at here is the matter that's been raised by a client of mine that I've been coaching that has been on a high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle, and it's obviously as a result of that been, been getting super lean through the process of her training as well as nutrition. Both factors working together to be able to give her a super nice lean physique. And she's raised an interesting question that it's something that's never actually occurred to me and we tried a couple of different options and they all worked brilliantly well. And that's the matter of the chest strap as far as your heart rate monitor is concerned. One of the side effects when you start getting super lean is that your chest strap now starts flipping. And through the process of flipping, it means that you can't keep your, your heart rate monitors that will recording device straight over the middle of your chest anymore. You are now needing, because it's sliding down, so it means that what she is noticing is that through her run, she's needing to stop every couple of moments to shuffle the chest strap back up to be able to still be over her heart to be able to do the recording. And along one of our runs, it all just became a little bit too much of a mission. And as a result, she decided, I'm not going to be keeping on stopping and starting. Let me just continue the run and see what happens. And as a result of this, what, was hap what she noticed at the end of the run is, even though the heart rate monitor slid down to her waist, the recording device was still being able to pick up her heart rate. So in other words, instead of having the monitor over the middle of her chest, it was now sitting down around the belly button level, but still managing to record all of the heart rate data. And in chatting to uh, another coach friend of mine as well, what he mentioned as well is on the cycling front, he had a client that was also having the heart rate monitor sliding down off his chest, also from, from being now super lean thanks to his high carb low fat um, vegan nutrition program. And but having the, the heart rate monitor's recording device over his belly was becoming really uncomfortable as far as his cycling position was concerned. So what he did was he took his monitor strap off and because he was out mountain biking, he put it inside his backpack. And he put it inside his backpack towards his spine area. So in other words, it wasn't buffeted by lots of layers of whatever it was that was inside his backpack. He put it close to his body but inside his backpack. And lo and behold, he got to the end of his bike ride and the heart rate monitor was still able to record the heart rate after. So, what we've learned from this is if you're not super skinny, getting now super lean thanks to your uh, healthy nutrition uh, program and your training as well, that your heart rate monitor's recording device is strong enough to be able to still pick up your heart rate even if it's not straight over the center of your chest bone. So that's an interesting uh, factor that's come out over the last couple of weeks. Post your comments and questions down below about exactly this and let me know what your feelings are on the matter. And for that matter as well, click the thumbs up button Share this out amongst all of your running friends. And last but by no means least, click the big red subscribe button as well. That way you can stay subscribed to my channel for all of the new videos that I post on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll be seeing you next time. Cheers.